I'm Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV, and we've got here one of the Reximix brand, which um, yeah, up until um, a year, two years ago, I, I'd never even heard of to be honest. But uh, they're from Turkey, and they really are up and coming and making quite an impression on the UK market. This is the Reximex Pretensis, and uh, it sort of burst, really is bursting with um, features, and you're getting quite a lot all in for the price it's at the moment they're about 579 quid um, this one's been lent by range and country in Sleaford and um, yeah there's quite a lot to it so let's take a look all in with the price you get two of the sort of I will say Theoban style cassette magazine 14 shot in 177 and 12 shot in 22 caliber so with each gun you get two magazines and you also get a single shot tray now moving through the features here, if we start with the muzzle, you've got a factory fitted uh, air stripper. So basically, you can, you can see some quite neat engineering going on there. It's quite a precise little device. I mean, I love, I've always loved the theory behind air strippers. They're very popular in field target with some very, very good shooters. So it suggests that the, tech, the, the, the science does work all with a view to sort of killing the turbulent air behind the pellet. It's got a half inch UNF thread underneath. You can un just unscrew that and put a silencer on if you want. On test, I shot it with both and it was extremely accurate with and without the air stripper. So with the silencer or the air stripper fitted, which is always nice. Um, I'm a big fan of silencers, but yeah, as a unit and it's factory fitted, that's, that's a lovely bit of kit. Obviously, you've got a usual barrel over cylinder configuration on the front there. So, obviously, compression cylinder there on the front there. This is a little bit fiddly, uh, but you remove that, push fit, and you've got the probe style air valve underneath. So, that you, they, you get the adapter with the gun, as you do with most of these PCPs. Fit that to your airline, and then your probe just pushes in there nice and securely, charge it up. There was a bit of um, confusion on the fill pressures with these. The instructions say go up to 200, the guns mark 250. I would fill to say 200 bar, that's what I did on test. It'll, you will get more shots if you go to 250, but 200 bar is, um, is sort of the recommended using um, pressure. The consistency over the charge is where you do lose out. I mean, I, I had over 70 shots, there was 100 feet per second variation bring that down to the first 42 and then it's about 36 feet per second variation. But as I say, the performance is very, very accurate and uh, it's, it's just, that's the sort of difference. If you had a regulated action, you get a much flatter curve. You're getting a lot for your money here. Composite stock, very similar, as you can see, to sort of, I'd say the sort of lines of the air arms, uh, sort of um, ultimate sporter, etc. This is all synthetic. Moving back, you've got a pistol, nice pistol grip all out of the action. You've got a manual safety catch, sort of cross bolt style. You've got an adjustable trigger shoe. There's an actual, there's an Allen key entry into the shoe. Again, it's all as standard. Look into the, um, up on the breech block, you've got a dual, what Reximex, the, the usual system they're using, the sort of dual bolt-on systems. You've got dovetail on the top, on the inner rail, and on the outside you've got Picatinny uh, rails. So you've got say, a lot of, lot of flexibility here. Moving back, you've got, again, it's all, all the composite stock, but you've got full adjustment. And this is all very nice, again, standard. You've got a push-button adjuster for your cheek piece. So you can raise that up, snap it into position, or lower it to get perfect eye scope alignment which is all really nice. And then likewise, you've got a push button adjuster on the butt. So you can push that in and then your butt will slide up. It's quite quite firm on there, but that just moves up and again, snaps into the next, the next um, slot on it. But the combination of those two means you can really set, um, set your eye scope position perfectly. Um, on test, this was doing about 10.8 foot pounds, so around the 11 foot pounds. You've also got, if you look to the side, you've got a power adjuster, which is another very nice feature. So of course, if you're just doing an informal practice session, you wind that down to minimum, I guess probably around six to seven foot pounds, if it's anything like the last one. So because you're getting less power, you'll get a lot more shots on the charge. So if you're just having a play and a practice, 
it's a nice little feature to have. It's been phenomenally accurate on tests, really sort of ragged groups out to 40 yards. So if you pick your spot on the charge, that's the key thing. It's a really nice little performer. We're impressed with this. You've got sling swivels as well, one other point to mention. But that's the Reximax Pretensis. So we're outside now with the Reximax Pretensis. We've filled the magazine, so we've got a whole drum of um, 14 shots ready in 177. One point to mention on this gun, which is of interest actually, I, mean, I, so I tend to just ignore them, but uh, you've got a manual safety catch here, which is the cross bolt variety, and you'd think it would be um, pushed right over to one side or the other, would be ready to fire. But there's actually, it can be pushed right through to the left, right through to the right, or in the middle, and it's the middle stage where this is firing, so that's just of interest. Now, the key thing obviously with this as well, it's a side lever. So you've got quite a nice side lever action. Pull that all the way back. And then, unusually with this, because the a lot of these would load, you tend to be from the smaller side, so you'd think that would come in from the left. These actually load from the right, and there's a guide strip there. It's a little bit fiddly initially, but once you get used to it, so it locates in there. Once you've located it in its run, snap it right the way through and close the lever and then you're ready. Now thereafter, it's in its slot, it should be fine, but it's just a little bit tight, a little bit uh, awkward to get that in. <clears throat> okay, we'll just cycle a few shots and just see how it works. As you can see, really slick side lever action uh, on test, but no problems at all with the magazine system on these. It all works very well. Basically, yeah, it's it's obviously you're just cycling and you're indexing the next shot as you work the lever. So you can you could use it as a very fast multi shot for a bit of uh, sort of fun shooting, or just um, as I say, it's sort of natural environment really as a hunting gun. Plastic on the stock, I suppose, is a little bit tinny. Styling and the sort of ergonomics of these, I'm a big fan. I think you know Reximex have um, come on in leaps and bounds. And as I say, performance-wise, tight groups out to 40 yards. Uh, it's, it's a cracking little hunting rifle. So yeah, that's the Reximex Pretensis.